What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Life of Kevin. It feels so good to get back to my sims. Like, I've had a lot of issues with recording other games and programs not working and games not working and it's just so nice to get back to the sims and knowing that everything's gonna work fine and... Ooh. Everything is working very fine. So yeah, we have Sims, two Sims, because Emma's moved in. I think she's gonna be a great addition to the household. Now, last episode, I didn't get the chance to get to uh, this room. I kind of talked about it a little bit, how Kevin's been practicing on his painting. He's been uh, kind of gotten his own little space, but I also wanted to show you guys a new feature that they included, and it's gonna be a lot easier to show now that Kevin and Emma are both controllable. What? What just happened? Tungsten Chef. Have a sim reached the maximum level of cooking. Who reached max cooking? Kevin? Are you... Kevin's a master cook. Wow. I never thought I would see the day. And you know how we perfected it? Hot dogs. <laughs> okay, enough with the hot dogs. You guys don't need to be at this. I need... Oh, this is going to be confusing. I need you to go here, and I need you to go here. Guys, just gotta work with me on this. So, there was a new feature that they included where you can paint by reference, which is really cool. I can make Kevin paint whatever he sees. So, we are gonna paint Emma. We need to make a, um, kind of a, a really uh, risque painting. So, we're gonna get her to change into sleepwear. Now, Emma, I need you to sit right there. Now, Kevin, can you, oh, switch over to Kevin. I need, I gotta get used to this. I've never used two Sims at the same time. <sighs> can, can you guys stop? You're, oh, I was gonna say you're fighting already. She's not. She's not even looking at you, Kevin. She's. She's looking away. <laughs> this isn't working, Kevin. Paint from reference. I think I give up. <laughs> you know what? That's a pretty good painting. That's. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So let's. Get this kind of lined up. It's a, it's a pretty good painting. That's a definite keeper, I think. Very seductive look on her face. So, Kevin, see what you can do with this. Can you paint that? Kevin's going to show off his skills now. Ringlar yeeds Habana. Show us, Kevin. Oh. That is actually pretty good, Kevin. I think you, I think you really got it there. That's that's a definite keeper. Let's put that one on a wall. Now, we're also going to be fair. We're not just going to be making scandalous pictures of Emma. We're also going to make a scandalous painting of Kevin. Hopefully, Emma knows how to paint. So, I think I think Emma knows how to do everything. Let's just get him to go here and then go here. Make it really difficult. Perfect. Perfect. Kevin, don't don't move. Don't you move. You stay right there, Kevin. I don't even know if he's looking at us. He's not quite, but you know what? I think that's pretty good. I, I like it. Yep. This will go great. I like it. You caught all the best aspects of Kevin. Mostly the abs and the beard. It's the important parts. Let's hang that one up too. Okay, I can't really find a good place to put them, but I think they'll they'll do all right there for now. Maybe at some point we'll get a fireplace and we'll be able to put them over them, but uh, I think that's as good as it's going to get. So... Now that we got that out of the way, and that worked really well, I'm I'm pleased that that worked. These are just fantastic. We'll look back at these someday when they're old and gray and have lost their physique and just imagine how great it used to be. So yeah, that's the pain in the butt. Kevin has work for the next two days, but uh, I remember when we had thrown the first party, we had seen that there were other kind of parties. You don't have to have a house party. You can have like, a costume party, a dinner party, a black and white party. So I think it'd be really good to have another party. We should kind of invite the neighbors over, introduce them to Emma, because I don't think many of them know Emma. As far as I know, Emma probably doesn't have too many uh, relationships. Well, prove me wrong, Emma. You apparently are kind of romantic with Chuck Norris and Bruce Banner. That's that's good to know. Oh, I was gonna say, who's this idiot? No, it's just it's just Kevin. We're okay. And she apparently doesn't like Black Widow at all or Gambit. And she's friends with our stalker Summer. So yeah, we can introduce her to some more people, kind of get them to know our, our girlfriend. That's kind of important to, to make her have friends, because Kevin's going to be working, so she's going to need to know people. Who is at our front door? What does Chuck want? No, Emma. 
Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this guy. Yeah, okay, invite him in. I'm not gonna be having any of this now. We got... This is what happened. It was Emma used to always show up to visit Kevin. And now Emma, he's here. Now the person who's gonna show up and swoon over one of the residents is gonna be Chuck Norris. And Chuck isn't here for Kevin. So, we're gonna have to deal with this real quick. There you go, Emma. Show him you can be a bitch. Yeah. It's just, that's the way it is. I'm with Kevin now. What is with all the randoms showing up? <laughs> it's like, all the random stalkers are just, Kevin, we need to get rid of her. <laughs> Actually, you know what? They'll deal with each other's. So this is what's gonna happen. Kevin, you are going to insult Chuck, and Emma, you are going to kick the crap out of Summer. You know what, Kevin? Don't even worry about it. You just sit there. Emma's gonna deal with this. She's gonna take out the trash, because she is in rage mode right now. She is getting ready to deal with some people. Let's just stand up like this. Uh. Okay. I think we just found Emma's Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Kevin, you're not supposed to be part of this conversation, guy. Yeah. Tired of her. That's right. <laughs> Kevin's just like, well then. I, uh, yep. Just another day. You can't have a conversation with a girl fight, Kevin. Oh, and he's gone to work. Have a good day at work, honey. Just taking out the trash. Tell her to get out. Stay away from my man. He's not interested. Take a hike. That's right. Get walking. Yeah. Getting punched in the stomach hurts. And the mouth. That sounds like a promotion to me. Select a branch for Kevin Sauce. Does he want to be a bodybuilder? As a master of muscle, you will partake in life of fitness, nutrition, and weight training. Train fellow sims, show off your feats of strength to adoring fans, and sculpt your body into the form of a god. That's pretty interesting. Or professional athlete. Are you a physical specimen with the motor, ambition, and natural talent to compete with the best? Want to earn a living playing a game that you played as a child? Then a career as a professional athlete is for you. Live the lifestyle and the entertainment of the ma and entertain the masses with your athletic ability. So Kevin would have two days off there working two to nine, and he would have two days off there working seven to two. Man, like, the bodybuilder has a better schedule because you get off at two every day in which case you can go do things kevin works nights as a professional athlete but i want to be I, I want to be a hockey player so we're gonna go with that promoted to a minor leaguer all oh, right way to go kevin oh look at you you got a little jersey and everything yeah you're you're dressed up like a soccer player but you're a hockey player what is this who's on the phone Jean Grey wants to come over and hang out. Okay. Actually, that's good. She can hang out with Emma when Kevin goes to work. She's a cool chick. I don't mind uh, Emma being friends with Jean. She kind of looks like her, actually. She's got uh, she's kind of like a redheaded version. Kevin, you gotta clean up after yourself. Every time you drink a protein shake, you just leave the glass there, and it's not okay. Emma's not gonna clean up after you, Kevin. She's not your mom. That's right, you just march on over to the bathroom and do your dishes. What is that frickin' noise? It sounds like a fax machine is having a baby somewhere. Emma, what did you do? <laughs> Man, Kevin's Kevin's custom gaming rig. Oh, what time is Kevin? Oh, Kevin has work in 20 minutes. He's not going to be able to fix that now. He'll fix it when he gets home. Long day work, he's got to come home and fix his computer. <laughs> really, Emma? Sam's Kevin okay. just went to work and you're flirting with the neighbor. <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about this. You're a strong, independent woman that don't need no man, so you're gonna have to fix this yourself and try not to kill yourself. Please. Okay. It works. Except once again, we have a bunch of extra parts. 
why do we have extra parts? The computer didn't come with extra parts. We shouldn't have extra parts when it's done. Okay, so it's early in the morning, and that's a little bit of a weird time to have a party, but I think this is the best time because this way we'll catch people rather than having them go to work. So, uh, let's just start the party. I think we can just um, plan social event. Plan a social event. I'm not sure which party we're going to have. Oh, it's such a tough decision because the incognito party looks really cool. You can have everybody kind of dressed up. It's kind of like a Halloween thing. But also the black and white bash, I don't know how it works. I'm not sure if they dress up in their formal attire or if they just dress up in actual black and white clothes, which are like pre-designated for them. I don't think Kevin has anything that's black or white. So, mm, uh, let's go with the black and white bash. I want to see, I want to see what this is about. I want to see what this is all about. So we're going to have... I think Kevin needs to host it because Kevin knows more people than Emma. This is the whole point of it, is to introduce people to Emma. Okay, invite everybody, check. Caterer, yes, we do want to hire a caterer. Let's hire, ooh, Bob Pancakes. You know what, I like your name, you're hired. Mixologist, um, sure. We need everybody, and an entertainer. That's interesting. I guess they're gonna like play the violin or something for us? Sure, we'll go with our entertainer. A mystery entertainer, and we will have it here. Done. Look at Kevin! I didn't even know you had this outfit! It must be like, uh, it must be specific to the black and white bash. You are looking dapper, sir. Wow, look at those white pants. That's great. Oh, Emma's looking pretty good too. Let's, let's see if we can get over here. I can't tell if that's her legs or if she's wearing stockings. I don't think she's actually that white. She's kind of odd. Kind of strange. Doesn't... I don't know what it is. Something about it doesn't quite suit Emma. Maybe we can... Emma, can you change? Because I'm willing to bet you got something even better than that. Can you change outfit? I don't think we can. Oh, it's because I'm controlling Kevin. That's why. Change outfit. Like, let's go into formal one. Is that going to work? Where are you going? There we go. <laughs> that is much more Emma. Whew. Yeah, for sure. And now she'll really she'll really stand out at the party. People will know to uh to kind of introduce themselves to her because she is just so much more radiant than everybody else. Did we invite this guy? Who's this guy? Hey. Hey you. Are you on the list? Emma, Emma and Leonardo don't know each other yet. That is why we're having this. Emma, let's introduce ourselves to my friend Leonardo DiCaprio. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, is that M? Is that, uh... What's wrong, Leo? He just lost another Oscar. I mean, you don't need to be working the bar. We have a bartender hired. Yeah, this guy. Are you the bartender? Yeah, you're the mixologist. Get get to work. No, Emma, don't, 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 don't tend the bar. That's his job. We're paying him to be here. Is that Sai? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so... In reality, when was the last time you saw Sai without his glasses anyway? Really, Summer? That's how you're gonna be? Summer, you show up to my party, and you're just dancing in your underwear, and we're trying to have a nice formal time, everybody's all dressed up, it's not gonna go. Nope, we're not having any of it. I love the jeans just in the back, like, Woo, you could take her, girl! <laughs> Yeah, Emma, she's taken down the party. Just ask her to leave. The whole point was you were supposed to be the one to stand out for everybody to introduce herself to. And now she's just walking around in her lime green underwear. It's just, it's not going to go. It's not going to cut it. Just get out, Summer. Goodbye. Kevin, Kevin, you got to help her out here, man. Listen to classical music. Go. Why is Kevin asleep? Kevin, you're asleep in the middle of a formal party. That's not okay. Your girlfriend is trying to do stuff here. This mixologist is just the worst. He is not doing his job at all. Look at Emma back there trying to do his job, and he's just on the dance floor. Can we can we tell this guy to get to work? We don't even know him. Kevin, Kevin, you're insider, and not in a good way. Emma, you gotta introduce yourself to people, girl. You can't be standing in the corner like that. Who's this? Who's this guy? Bob Pancakes. You're the caterer guy. Get to get to work. Don't you sass off to her. Kick him out. Ask him to leave. No, we're not taking that, Emma. Put your drink down and tell him to get the frick out. We hire you to come over here and make us food. You're gonna sass off the woman of the evening. 
Get out. Get out. We're not even going to pay you. Just take your stupid face and hit the road. Goodbye. Where is Kevin? Is Kevin, are you asleep again? What is wrong with you, dude? You're not even tired. Come over and kiss your girlfriend, because she is dying over here. She's trying her best to host this party, and all she wants to do is get a kiss from you. Not so much to ask. Come on. All your lazy ass out of bed. She goes on and puts on her best diamond-encrusted dress for you, and you're asleep. Unacceptable. Really? Okay, no, Kevin, we gotta tell this guy to hit the bricks as well. This is this is our, our bartender. Oh, look at you, you're finally gonna do your job now. Get out! And the party's over. We got a bronze star. Kevin, you know what, you didn't do a whole lot to help this out, alright? And everybody's leaving. Emma, go see what's wrong with Kevin. Something something seems wrong. I don't understand. He's just he's sleeping all party. He wasn't his normal self, his normal Kevin self. So strange. Just not in the partying mood, I guess. He seems to be uh seems to be perfectly happy here with just Emma. <laughs> it kills me that she randomly does that. <laughs> Emma's Emma's not the kind to let Kevin just be down in the dumps. Kevin, that is that is quite the pouty face you have going right there. Well, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. The black and white party was really cool. It kind of sucks that we hired a bunch of bad workers and Kevin wasn't quite himself, but I'm still gonna call it a success. But thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.